Hey everybody, Aaron Counts, Stage Dynamics. This week's questions answer video, what do I think about pocket size EDC lights? This is uh, probably the only pocket size EDC light I have. It's a Streamlight ProTac 1L. It's a very old light, as you can tell by looking at it. Uh, it is very useful. Um, for the majority of the time, this was either in a pocket as a secondary light source, because it's a real good admin light, or it was in my plate carrier, so I'd have like a little bit of an investigation light. But it's not something that I'd really consider to be a sole carry. This wouldn't be a light that this would be my only light source. Uh, this question was brought up by a recent video I did on handheld uh, light only techniques. My EDC light is a Streamlight HLX with a Theorem switchback. That's my go-to light. Now, if this light were capable of producing the lumens and candela that I get from this light, I still wouldn't consider carrying it. Yeah, sure, it's much more convenient, and I get that. People like the size because it's easily carried. It's not obtrusive. It's not going to bulge out your pockets or stab you in the back or in the in the in the hip or wherever you happen to carry it. The problem with it is it makes manipulation of the light very difficult. If you don't have a really good grasp on it, you can very easily lose the light in your hand. And if you think about uh, if you're performing some kind of, I wouldn't say complicated, but maybe some basic firearms manipulation such as a reload and you don't really know what to do with your light, then you've got an issue where it's very hard to reset the light back to where you want to go. The next issue with it, of course, is imagining that I don't have a WML. Um, the number of grips that are available to me with this light are significantly reduced uh, to a point where it doesn't really fulfill a great deal of usefulness over a larger light. Another minor uh, thing, uh, but it's worth mentioning, is it's really hard to use a light like this as a wedge or an impact device, whereas I have uh, considerably more um, real estate, if you will, purchase on this light here itself. And that's another reason why I'm just not a huge fan of the small lights. Like I said, again, they're good for everyday admin stuff, like if this is a poke around the garage or poke around the driveway kind of light. Um, but it's not something I'm gonna carry for self-defense purposes. It may be a secondary light for that reason, just something to grab real quick, check something out. I don't think there's a magic size when it comes to flashlights. Um, two cell, three cell, I think you can get too big, obviously, the old mag lights, the old uh, C, C cell, D cell mag lights spring to, spring to mind of something that would really be kind of complicated to carry around in our back pocket. Um, the HLX has is, is got a pretty wide bezel on it, not really a big deal. I carry it in my back pocket. I often don't really notice it in a way where it's uncomfortable. This light like right here, it'll dump right into my pocket wearing jeans. I've got some other stuff in my pocket. It's going to make it harder for me to retrieve that light. It's got a little pocket clip on it and that's fine, uh, but it's just too small and for a number of reasons, like those I've already mentioned, that I just don't think it's going to be something that I would put all my faith in, especially for any kind of self-defense purposes. Uh, if you have any other questions that are light specific, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I'm Aaron Cowan with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.